Hello everyone, this is Brian from True Sustainability and I just wanted to talk about the compost that I collected earlier. You would have seen one of my videos uh, that was talking about garden gold and this is truly garden gold. So let's go ahead and step into this pile here and uh, let's get into it. So I just had a regular thermometer and um, so I couldn't get very deep into the uh, compost pile but um, just on the surface the temperature heat is over 106 degrees so that's just towards the the top of the pile maybe only a few inches in there so if i was able to dig down deeper i'm confident that that would be within the range of 135 to 160 there's a tremendous amount of heat coming from this pile so if you look down in here we're gonna see those strands of fungi, micro fungi, right here in the soil that is just flourishing in here. And that's why we have so much heat um, because the moisture came into the pile. I've been uh, watering the pile just a little bit and uh, that's when it started to take off temperature wise and it's getting to be right in the range in which we want it so if you see towards the outside of the pile a little bit further you don't have quite as much white and it's not going to be as hot but if you just go a little bit further in that's when where you can see that this is wet still and wherever it's wet it's heating up and getting super hot and you can smell it almost like burnt wood and uh it's really really distinctive smell when it starts to do that and it's breaking down little bits of this compost and making it into um, a wonderful soil compound so i just wanted to share that with you guys you want your compost to stay between 135 and 160 um, if it's any hotter than that it's not good and if it's any lower than that it's not doing its job so when you have the proper microorganisms, you have uh, the fungi that's breaking down those wood chips and making it into a, a soil, that's when you have a wonderful mixture uh, that's going to bring you a lot of life. And it's going to provide your gardens, your food forests, your urban homesteads. It's going to provide you with the life that you need, the sustaining life that you need to create a wonderful, beautiful, green environment that's going to sustain life in the future. So, I'm Brian with True Sustainability and you are the change. You are sustainability and you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So get out there, start composting start uh, working your gardens and even if you don't have that much space just focus on the most important things that's bringing soil health that's bringing life to your soil so you want to have organic matter you want to have fungi you want to have really clean delicious soil for those little organisms that are going to pump out those nutrients to the plant uh, through the fungi so we are going to make those little changes here uh, at true sustainability we're going to keep growing we're going to keep creating life and sustaining that life so that's what we're doing here we want to bring alive the soil and not kill the soil so if you guys can do that then you can garden and you can make beautiful your space wherever you are at if you're in an apartment you can have a little uh, garden out on the patio. You can do so many things with so little space. So don't get discouraged um, thinking that you can't do it. You just got to make those little small steps and it will go a long way. So you have a great day.